Hey everyone, Spin here. So today I'm talking about something that is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings because people feel very strongly about this topic and it's KD, kills to deaths. Now, when I join up in a lot of lobbies, a lot of players, especially ones with high KD, start kind of teasing the players with low KD saying how much better they are than them and that the players with low KD should be trying harder or just getting better at the game. And sometimes it can turn really nasty. But I just want to ask the question, does KD really matter? It's something that players talk about a lot. And in a game like Valorant, the answer appears to be a unanimous, yes, KD does really matter. But I want to challenge that. I want to ask if KD really does matter. So my answer is going to be this. It matters most of the time. But it doesn't really matter. Because the more important question we want to be asking is, how much game impact are you having? How much are you influencing rounds towards a victory or towards a loss? See, you can have a player, let's say you have a player who's anchoring a site and this player has the highest KD in the game, okay? And when the B or the C call comes in, they say, hey, they're planning B, they're planning C, this person might, you know, just start trying to lurk slowly. The bomb's planted, okay? They're still lurking slowly, trying to search for another player maybe who's also lurking or try to catch somebody out and let's say they oh, catch somebody boom one kill okay now it's a 1v4 they've gotten one kill they're still lurking just searching for the kill the bomb is halfway towards detonation and maybe they lurk 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 and catch another player who's trying to hold the bomb here holding for long and they boom catch that player out two kills so now they're two kills no deaths for the round and they spot somebody down here secure their kill so players maybe maybe you're a really good 1v1 -er and you're, you're securing three kills but then you walk around the corner and you still have two players left and maybe even okay maybe even you still kill one but the last player kills you so even though it's a 1v5 or a 1v4 you lost a round but hey you got four kills out of it you're the best player on the team you're the top performing kd but the question that i ask is okay you have a high kd but how much round impact did you have when your teammates needed you you were not there for them when your teammates called for the rotate you did not rotate in time and you still lost the round you have the highest kd in the entire match in the entire game but you did not impact anything so that's why i ask what does kd really even matter and for most people, if you're rotating properly and you're rotating on time and you still have the highest KD, then I would say, yeah, you have a lot of game impact. But if you're not playing as a team, if you're just play you're just clutching at the end, but you're not fully clutching, you're just kind of getting a few kills here and there at the end, you're not impacting the round. It doesn't matter whether or not you have a high K KD or not. You have no impact. So the, the problem with you know measuring impact is well, you can't really measure it. There's no metric to really measure it. There's no metric to say this kill mattered, this kill did not matter. So what I ask is next time people start teasing you because you have a low KD or next time you start teasing someone else because they have a low KD, ask yourself, why do I have a K low KD or why do I have a high KD and does it really matter? So now you're asking, okay, how do I have round impact? And the way to have round impact is to rotate on time, support your teammates, and communicate properly. If you can mobilize your teammates to actually get to where the bomb is or to where you're pretty certain the bomb is gonna be and counter that push, that is round impact. If you can stop a push in its tracks by either you know, flashing or denying a site right before they try to push it, that's round impact. Anything you can do to make, the, make things harder for the enemy team and easier for your team, that's around impact. I mean, for me, the Phoenix, maybe they're about to rush B and I just pop out, get a quick kill here, get a quick kill there, and maybe they tap me, so, you know, I've, I died, but I didn't really die because I had run it back. That's round impact. I talk about this in my other videos, but another way to have round impact is to just survive and give your teammates valuable information. So let's say you're kind of anchoring a site, maybe you've chosen this spot right here, which I wouldn't totally recommend because you can get peeked at two angles almost at the same time but let's say you hear a ton of footsteps coming in on a short. So communicating to your teammates, hey, I need help, and even maybe falling back a little bit 
just so you can survive in time for your teammates to get here so you can properly fight them, that's round impact. Anything you can do to make it harder for your enemies, easier for your team. I'd way rather have a player that has a higher round impact than a player that has a high KD because this game is so much more is about so much more than just having KD. It's about winning team fights, not winning 1v1s, not winning 1v2s. It's about winning team fights. So if you can do that, I'd way rather have you on my team than just somebody who can mindlessly KD out the wall. So another way to have round impact is to refrag for your teammates. So let's say that the enemy team has planted C and we're going for a retake. And often the enemies will set up like an opera right here and try to frag people coming from spawn, coming from C short, or coming from B. So let's say your teammate tries to peek that opera and is punished. The opera kills your teammate right here. If you don't try to peek out and refrag off your teammate, you're just basically letting your teammate die for nothing. Your teammate just tried to, you know, make a peek on the opera and try to get a kill, and your teammate has been killed, and now that opera is exposed because that opera has to reload his gun or cock the bolt again. You should peek and destroy that opera. If you're not re-peeking after your teammates die, you're not having enough round, round impact as you should be. So don't let your teammates die for nothing. If they peek and give up a life for you, make sure to take advantage of that and punish the person who has peeked your teammate. There's so many ways to have round impact, guys, but the most important thing to remember is make it hard on your enemy, make it easy for your teammates. If you can do that, you're having round impact. You don't need to worry about KD as much. And as a final note, I will say that this isn't a knock on KD. This isn't a video talking about how KD doesn't matter. I think KD really does matter. It matters a lot. It's probably one of the most important factors in measuring how good a player is. I just think that sometimes we give it a little bit too much weight. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. My name is Spin. If you want to see more videos like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It really does make a difference. I'm super new to this YouTube thing. I just started it because of this coronavirus bull. So if you want to learn more, just like and subscribe. Peace and love, everybody.